from the National Farm Machinery Show 2018 down in Louisville, Kentucky. Joel Penorwood here with Ohio AgNet. Joining me right now, Jerry Quellhorst with GEA. Jerry, thanks so much for joining us here today. You're very uh, out on the dairy farm, we see the encroachment of technology so much today, and to the glee of farmers quite a bit because it's helping them do their job in a better, more effective way. And we see your company kind of taking a bigger step into the robotic market. Let's talk about this machine behind us. Okay. This is our monobox robot machine. Uh, it is actually developed, uh, we were the first in the industry, we t actually use a rotary that has uh, these same robots on the rotary platform. We're the only ones that offer that. They were developed in Germany, so we can actually put them anywhere from 24 up to 80 stalls and milk up to 3,000 cows uh, with no operator intervention. Uh, with that, so. Now, what are some of those major questions that you're being asked by the farmer before, you know, going to a robotic system like this? What are those things that are on their mind? Some of the things, that, you know, is it something that I can put in and walk away from it and it does it automatically? Yes, it buys you time, but no, you can't walk away from it. You still have uh, to deal with a manure situation. You still have to deliver feed into the free stall barn. You still have to um, calve the cows. You still have to take care of the young baby calves. You still have to breed the cows and do all the herd health with the cows. It, it frees you up from physically milking the cows, but it doesn't free you up from being away from the cows. In a time where farm labor is such a challenge in, in any agricultural operation, this can really help in, in many ways, I would think. Yes, it has, and it's helped ter tremendously. The rotary robot has helped the uh, large farmers. Presently, hopefully today, up in Hartford, Michigan, we have a farm that has 24 of the individual boxes are going to start up today, and they're going to milk 1,500 cows. So it is, and their biggest driver was the labor situation. Uh, we have worked with these customers, that same customer. I have six other farms with them with conventional barns on them, and their biggest issue is uh, availability of labor and dependability of labor. We also have the feeding robot, the little uh, R2-D2 thing that actually pushes the feed up to the cows in the freestall barn. So as the cows eat and push the feed away from themselves, this is programmed every hour to come back through and automatically push it up. Whereas before, people were using uh, four-wheelers, they were using skid loaders, they were using tractors with a blade to push up the feed. Of course you want the cow to consume the feed and with doing it on a regular hourly basis after a 24 hour period they've consumed all the feed that was put before them and so they, it minimizes the waste and yet the cows are getting their fill of, of feed when they need it. As they, you know they need, they need to eat, they need to drink and they need to rest to produce milk. Quite a bit to learn about in the robotic milking world, but if you want to do that, you can head on over to GEA, spelled G-E-A. Yes. And joining us right now, Jerry Quellhorst with us here at the 2018 National Farm Machinery Show. I'm Joel Penorwood for the Ohio AgDat. More at OhioAgDat.com.